hello friends welcome to my channel data making in this video i am going to discuss about how to install apache hive on ubuntu 18.04 virtual machine okay so i have already installed apache hadoop 2.9.2 on the ubuntu virtual machine okay so uh, hadoop is already installed in my virtual machine so i am going to install a apache hive 2.3.6 okay so uh, if you look at the uh, this diagram so basically i have this virtual machine which has ubuntu and uh, apache hadoop right so we are going to install a uh, apache hive okay the data warehousing component okay or the uh, uh, the uh, the query execution uh, sql execution engine for your sdfs data okay now uh, if you look at the uh, hive components so in hive when you create a table okay all your table structure is stored in something called metastore metastore is another component in your uh, hive or you can say another uh, module in your hive it manages your uh, it manages your tables which are created in a hive so when you create a table in hive so it goes and uh, sits the metadata about your table in the metastore so the metastore can be any rdbms okay so uh, by default it comes with a uh, uh um, the embedded uh, uh, rdbm is called uh, derby okay you can go and configure uh, any rdbm like mysql or oracle sql server so in this session uh, basically i am going to uh, do the uh, apache hive installation as well as the metastore configuration uh, to save your metadata on the mysql database okay these two are the things we are going to do it uh, in the in this video uh, session okay i will actually probably based on the uh, time i will uh, break out into two videos okay thank you so much friends now uh, let us get into that uh, uh, steps okay so first step is you just navigate to the uh, apache hive uh, uh, download for page okay uh, so you can actually uh, uh, go to the uh, hive.org apache.org.slash/downloads.html so you can click on this uh, uh, download a release now okay this if you click on this hyperlink so you will be opened with this uh, mirror site where you can actually download a different version of uh, apache hive so if you click on this uh, uh, mirror site link so it will open something like this so it will have a folder structure which says different uh, uh, version of hive you want to actually uh, install you can take it and install uh, whichever version you want so i am actually going to take this stable version of uh, 2.3.6 okay so if you uh, just click on this uh, uh, if you click on this hyperlink okay so it will open the hive 2.3.6 uh, 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 version of uh, hive okay so you can take the binary i don't want the source for, for project i need a binary uh, compressed file so i'll just click on this and download it so once you click on this it will ask you to save some in your uh, local system so you can just uh, give uh, whatever the location you want to give okay so basically i, I once i save it will go to the download folders so it will just start downloading it will take some uh, couple of minutes once it downloads because it's size of 221 mb okay based on bandwidth you may uh, uh, take time or uh, it may be less also okay so then what you need to do is once it is downloaded in the download folder you can copy wherever you want to place it so i just copied into the um, okay so one way is to uh, go to the link and download manually or you can take that uh, uh, mirror site uh, a link of your uh, the binary file you can use the wget to uh, download it so you can just run this command wget followed by the uh, the binary file uh, the full path okay the location uh, you need to give so once you just say click it will just start downloading the file okay so once this compressed file is downloaded you can extract now so this this uh, apache hive iphone 2.3.6 iphone bin iphone tar.zz this file is downloaded right so we'll just extract it you just uh, i actually put it in the uh, my uh, uh, my gnome folder my username is dm admin inside that i have a folder called data making slash software inside that i placed it so i will just extract now so to extract it you just to use the tars uh, command tar iphone xvzf followed by the your compressed file if you give it will just extract it uh, then you could do ls and you can just type ls command to see the extracted folder so then what you need to do is you need to set the so you got this i installation folder or the uh, i folder where you actually 
extract the uh, i binary file right you take this path the i path okay and you need to set it in the uh, uh, bash rc file dot bash rc files or uh, to this uh, as a i home location so that uh, i commands you can run from anywhere okay so i just go here so i set i home equal to the entire path of this uh, extracted folder i extracted folder and then configuration i i config directory as a inside conf folder is there just give that then add it to the path variable okay so once you do this you just uh, uh, run this command i am using the nano editor once you uh, modify it you can just uh, invoke a command called source to refresh your environment variable uh, in the uh, bash rc okay so once you do this okay now so uh, this step is done okay so basically we uh, extracted the uh, source file uh, sorry compressed file the uh, a binary file extracted now it is ready you can actually go and uh, invoke the i cli command which is just type i it will open the cli but it will actually use the uh, derby as a meta store basically you can take only one session when you use derby so i don't want to use that i want to use michael uh, sql mysql as a uh, uh, i meta store so i have to configure mysql as a i meta store so that i can take n number of connections okay so for that first what you need to do is you need to create a uh, <coughs> database okay so you need to install a my mysql server so you can use this command sudo i uh, sudo space apt hyphen get appgate we call it as appgate install mysql hyphen server okay so it will just ask you for uh, uh, the notification so just say do you want to continue say yes it will say how much uh, uh, type of uh, a space it is going to allocate for the in your disk okay so one which you say yes so it will just start downloading the uh, the dependency of uh, mysql server sorry yeah mysql server so it will just run for some time so once it is completed you will see like this now you can actually uh, stop this uh, mysql service using the command called sudo space service space mysql space stop because i want to do some changes in the configuration file okay so i am just starting the mysql service once you start the uh, some of the mysql service there are log files which are there in the mysql you just take the backup so that you can once you do the changes in the configuration mysql configuration you get new log files so i just i'm going to take this so i just created a directory called uh, uh, inno db underscore log files underscore backup so that log files are available in the slash var slash lib slash mysql slash this file uh, ib underscore log file zero i move to the the backup folder similar there is one more file which is ending with the one okay just move to the backup folder once this is done okay now you have to locate the i uh, the mysql configuration file so by default it will be in the slash etc slash mysql folder so you see my underscore cnf this is the configuration file for mysql so i just locate i open that so once you open it you will you will have uh, this this is the default settings it will have. So I'll just comment out that part. Okay. So then uh, I will include uh, what I'm going to include is uh, I'm going to include the settings. Okay. So other settings. Okay. Uh, these settings uh, uh, you can take it from the I will add it in the description uh, section. You take this uh, what are the content I added here. Just paste it here and save it. Okay. So basically it is where you MySQL log is stored. And where the socket is uh, connection is opened all this stuff is there in this so you just uh, put this configuration whatever uh, i give it in the description section of this video just paste it over there and save it okay once you save it okay you can start uh, check the uh, 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 mysql service uh, status because we already stopped it so it will be stay stopped so you can actually start it using the start command so sudo uh, space service space mysql space uh, start so it will start the mysql service so it is started okay so um, then what i will do is i will just uh, uh, set a few uh, configuration okay for secured connection so what i'm going to do is uh, uh, so i'm going to run this uh, uh, the uh, mysql secure installation uh, file which is there in the user slash uh, bin okay use user slash bin slash uh, mysql uh, secure uh, installation okay you just uh, um, run this file so it will ask you for uh, uh, so basically when you install mysql first time 
so it will be in the uh, your password for root user will be blank okay so that's what it says connecting to the mysql using the blank password so then you can actually say do you want to do the you want to add the uh, plugin so basically when you create a password it will do the basic checks right so it has it is it is there as a plugin okay so uh, whether you want to whenever if you get short password say very short uh, give a length of this much length right so those things are managed by the plugin so do you want to install uh, you want to validate the password plugin uh, so you, you can say yes or no i said yes so then you can step the what is the uh, uh, validation policy password validation policy there are three policy low and medium strong it has different uh, uh, conditions you can just say uh, i just given as uh, low low okay so i just set the password it will it will actually ask you for the password new password and uh, re enter new password for the root user it just given okay and it says um, yeah would you like to continue with the password provided yes i said yes uh, it asking uh, do you want to remove the anonymous users yes i said yes and uh, uh, do you want to disallow uh, root login remotely no i want to actually login from remote also so i'll just say no and remove test database and access to it uh, no i don't want to delete it because we slightly need the test test databases then finally uh, reload the privilege tables now yes okay that's it you are actually this configuration is you have done now next step is you have to install a, a jdbc driver mysql jdbc driver okay so to install the my, 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 my mysql jdbc driver before installing you can just go and check this uh, location uh, sudo space uh, ls slash uh, uh, sorry uh, space uh, sudo space ls space slash user slash share slash java if you go and look this is the location where uh, your mysql jdbc driver is copied uh, right now there is no mysql driver jdbc i will start i will install using this command sudo apt get okay install lib mysql hyphen java which will install the mysql uh, uh, jdbc driver okay you can see this driver has come okay so now we can copy this uh, into the i actually downloaded in the uh, <coughs> i downloaded in the uh, in the in this uh, um, so when you run this uh, command it will download in the usr share java so you need to copy this uh, mysql jar to the hive lib folder okay so i you have i Ex uh, the compression uh, extracted uh, uh, file right uh, you have a uh, binary file you extracted that folder inside that you will have a lib folder copy this uh, mysql driver to that place okay now it is set okay now uh, uh, you you actually install the mysql as well as the download the mysql driver so next we will log in and do the uh, metastore setup so uh, that we can do it uh, we'll do it in the next video i will stop till the uh, uh, this uh, step in this video see you in the next video friends thank you